hello 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 it is samantha here of samantha sutherland art and books if you're new here welcome i hope you like what you see and if you do maybe you'll stick around i don't know uh and then if you've been here for a while welcome back i have been thinking a lot since yesterday i did record a video yesterday i did it in three parts because i want to practice my editing skills because they're rubbish so this is me um, coming to you imperfectly because also I'm, I suffer from perfectionism a little bit. Basically, it didn't go quite the way I thought it went and I thought it's rubbish so I'll just delete all three videos. Um, and I need to stop being perfect. You need to see me as me. I am a weirdo who um, does art and likes to read. So... This is me starting something new. I'm in my pyjamas, I have bed heads, and I'm um, making a video. <laughs> um, I The point of the video, basically, is because I know it's only been a few days since my last video. Um, it's literally to show you um, my art kit and also what I've been doing in my sketchbook. Because I've been doing a little tiny bit. There are some pictures on Instagram. But basically, um, today, throughout the day, I'm going to record bits of videos and hopefully edit them together and see how it goes. It, it might end up looking awful, but you know what? I'm okay with that because I need to stop being perfect. I need to stop thinking, this video sucks. I just need to kind of film the video and put it up and stop being such a... Um, perfectionist about it really so this is me coming to you um as they say raw and uncut <laughs> i don't know why i said that see this is this is what i mean i mean they all they would have just deleted this already but i just i'm not perfect i have i have chronic conditions and i'm still recovering from surgery even though it's been like 10 weeks and i need to stop being so so particular about what I film and what I say in it obviously if it's absolutely awful it gets deleted that's a given but I and, and you might be able to hear my daughter downstairs she's co-oping again with her dad because I had a nap um because I've got to go out this afternoon because I'm going back to the district nurse because small life update um my bag came off yesterday no, not yesterday. It came off on, I think it was Wednesday. So I've been stoma bagless since Wednesday, which is nice. Um, especially in this heat. However, um, the small problem that's been left behind, it doesn't like having, a, uh, I don't think it likes too much having, um, well, um, a bandage type plaster, a plaster dressing on. So it's, it's a bit itchy. Um, that and I'm guessing it's also drying out. Um, which you don't want that. But uh, I go back to clinic today to get the plaster changed and I'm going to check it. And the district nurse thinks it'll take like two weeks to heal, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So I thought, um, just give me one minute. I shouldn't really stretch down. One, one minute. In a bit, at some point in this video, I'm going to show you what's in this. Now, if you remember some videos back, maybe three, I think, or four, maybe three, I mentioned um, I've been watching Artie, who's an illustrator on YouTube, and I watched one of her videos, which was, I think it was an autumnal one, and she took an art kit with her to go drawing and I mentioned how I wanted the bag <laughs> and but I was going to choose it in red because I don't want to completely copy because that's just rude um but to be honest I have been looking for absolutely ages for something to be able to take into the car with me and to take a select amount of um goodies to go drawing with now this has got all of my pencils in it and my 
brush pens in it and obviously I wouldn't take everything with me I'd take a select amount which would be the colours for that I know would be for the season um, so I still want to get the smaller one this one's a slightly bigger one and I'll show you what's in it in a, in a little bit but my daughter wants one as well <laughs> so yeah so um, I also need to get some more art materials not that I really need a an excuse to go shopping. I need money, so I have to wait a little bit. Um, hopefully, probably in the next week, I'm going to be able to put an order in. Um, <clears throat> probably to Jackson's because I need some more luminance pencils, and I love them. It's like drawing; they're just like they're so soft and they're so oh, they are expensive. I I know that, and but they're beautiful. That I, I finally found a favourite art material for drawing with. I have to admit, before I was kind of like, I have to take paint with me and I have to do this and da 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 da. But actually, I love my paint pens and the brush pens and the luminance pencils. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. I've been using them. I've not actually touched my paints to do anything in my sketchbook. Maybe a bit of gouache. Maybe a bit of white gouache. Um, but really, that's about it. I haven't actually used, as far as I know, except for maybe one painting which I based on uh, an Emily Powell painting. I haven't used any paint other than that one in my sketchbook, as far as I know. And the only other, the only other paint I will have used would have, like I said, been white gouache. And... That's quite surprising because when I first got all the paint pens, I was like, I don't know what to do with these. What do I do with them? And luckily I'd been watching um, people like Crixis and um, Melanie Chadwick and Artie as well. So I had a small idea, but it's literally through just playing with them. And I would suggest that anyone who's never used them before just play and um, they're fantastic and Sandy Hester uses them as well um, I would say just play with them just get your sketchbook out get a piece of paper and just draw with them like you would draw with a pencil but you get to colour in vast amounts of spaces really quickly especially with the, the brush pens I am in love with my brush pens I'm in love with my acrylic markers I love them so much um, I never thought I'd hear myself say that. I'm such a paint girl. And I am enjoying gouache. And I need to learn a little bit more how to use it. Because I, too thick, it doesn't go very far. Too thin, it's like watercolours. Which is fine, because you can build up layers. But I'm still learning how to use gouache. Um, but yes. I... I'm, yeah, I've been enjoying using my, my pens very, very much. So I will stop here because I have to go do some stuff and I will show you what's in my art kit in a little bit and um, because I've noticed that to film so I can see what I'm doing um, my camera phone or the camera on my phone won't let me pause and then move the view of the camera. So I have to stop the video to do that. So that's fine. I don't mind doing that. Um, like I said, I really need to practice um, editing. Plus my husband has insisted, apparently, that I get a decent editing suite. I actually pay for one. And I think he's right. Because what I use is free with Microsoft. And it hates me. Well, I hate it for definite. It's pants. I only use it because it's free and um, I think I may have found one to buy for the year. We'll see. But until I get it, I'm going to have to use ClipChamp, which is, like I said, a freebie and it's pants. <laughs> but it's done, it's done the job so far, hasn't it? I've made some videos. I've made like 20 plus videos. No, 30. 
30 plus videos with it. So it's not all bad. It's just, it's just rubbish. I mean, it won't let me upload to YouTube properly. And yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go and get changed. I'm going to go have lunch. And then I'm going to show you what's in my beautiful yellow art bag and have a little chat about um, what else I want art wise, <laughs> art materials wise. Um, I'm sorry the camera keeps moving because I'm sat on my bed. I know I need a, a better um, a better setup, which hopefully I can do to show this in a bit. So yes, um, excuse me. I'll see you in a little while. Toodles. See you later. I I apologise now for the shaky handwork. For start, I'm one handed. And second of all, um, I forgot to bring up a table to set up um, my phone with. So, whoops. But this is my art kit. Um, this has got everything in it that I know of except the paints. Like I said, mine's slightly bigger than the one that I saw on Artie's um, video when it came to her going out kit. Because um, I was awkward and I wanted it in yellow. So it's got a nice big... Um, it's got a really big... Uh, pocket on the front and then as we open it it's got this big one here so this one opens up here and comes all the way down to here and then you've got this middling one here which has these in it I'm not going to open that because last time I did that it pinged it broke and it ended up halfway across the living room because it's very um smooth and it, it pinged everywhere <laughs> So this is my mechanical pencil and um, rubber, which is in this one, which there will be more in here at some point than just these two. And then I've got my luminance and my Derwent pencils. Um, I'm not too big on my Faber-Castell because it, it colours funny. I don't know why. These two here, they come off, as you can hear. But as I've got them right where I want them, I don't want to take them off. My graphite pencil, uh, my Tombow markers. I want some more Tombow markers. Um, like I said, this one comes off as well because it's Velcroed in. But I've got it at the right position for me, so I'm not going to take it off. And then it's got some more storage here. And then it's got my sketchbook in it, which is my Pith sketchbook, as you can see. And then I've got my um, paint pens, my acrylic marker, which is like my Moltau, um Posca, and then my, all of my eco lines that I've got, and also um, a Liquitex. I want some more Liquitex because these are beautiful to draw with. And then my pencil sharpener, which I'm not a huge fan of, and I'll explain in a few when I turn you back around. And um, rubber. So yeah, that's my art kit, which is what I, if I was going to take the kitchen sink with me, it would be all of this. But um, yeah, and I will have a chat. Oops, about. Um, my plans for my art kit because obviously I'm going to want to take it with me and um, this is not really the one I want to take with me I thought it would be but it's not but this is this is my it's different make I can't remember I will put up the a link to the one that I found from Artie's yeah, YouTube but this one is like a centimeter bigger um, if you want to take the kitchen sink out with you I would say this is brilliant. It takes a lot. I mean, it's quite deep as well, as you can see, but it is heavy when everything's in it. So I need to really think about what I would be taking out. Do I get another one of these or do I get a slightly smaller one? Um, so I'll have a, a chat about that in just a second. So I'm going to leave this bit of the video here and I will join you in just like a couple of seconds. Bye bye. See you in a few. Hello, hello, hello. Um, you may have noticed it's rather late and that's because, excuse me, the main light is on because it's about half seven in the evening. I didn't have a chance to make the video the next part this afternoon because by the time I'd done everything and stuff, we had to go on out to the clinic. Um, and yeah, um, the, what I wanted to talk about quickly, must I remember, was um, I mentioned how I'm not a big fan of my um, pencil sharpener. I can't quite remember 
the make of it um, because I forgot. Um, what I'll do is I will go back into my, I'm sure I got it from Amazon. Um, and I will look it up. But yeah, it does something weird to my pencils when I sharpen it. Um, can you see that? It's got like a little little nubbin on it. If you can see it. I don't know if it's working or not. But when I sharpen my other pencils with my pencil sharpener, it looks like that. Now, I got this particular one because Sandy Hester has this. She loves this. I don't know if it's mine. Mine doesn't work very well. It can't do. But you can tell the difference between um, between them. Do you see what I mean? It's got like a little nubbin on it. Whereas this is nice and sharpened. So this is kind of like a... But it kind of sometimes breaks off while you're colouring with it. Um, yeah, so that's the weird thing so um i you may have noticed my sketchbook when i uh, showed my um art kit uh this i decorated because i was inspired by um april of monkey mintaka um i thought what a great idea because it's gray to pretty gray to countryside I probably won't do this for all of them. Like what I used to, t what I tended to do, and I still do sometimes, is I get like images that I really like off a photograph or a postcard. I tend to put it on the sketchbook, usually. Um, but I just was sat there the other night and I thought, hmm, while I'm watching the video, that looks like it would be fun. So that's why this ended up. So sorry, April, I'm not. Um, I'm not copying you on this it feels like this video is all about copying youtubers it's not um honestly i promise um the 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 i can't get my words out this evening this is what happens late in the evening um my um pencil field kit i might get a smaller um because i can't take a huge amount of things with me because I can't carry heavy things so I'm gonna to have to get a smaller um, pencil case type thing anyway so I just need to find the right thing for, to fit everything in and I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet I'm still looking to be honest but also whilst I was sat down a little bit bored um, I <laughs> I did some sketching in my sketchbook now I'm a huge fan of Modigliani and I used to draw like this like all the time and I've not done it for ages and I was a bit rusty so I did a, a self-portrait and then my daughter which I love this I, I might take this forward I might do this some more and then maybe um on a bigger piece of paper but in the same materials because I think if I did it in in paints it wouldn't it wouldn't be, look the same and I don't think it'd be as good either I love the way this has turned out and I used the Maltau for the back as well as my eco line pens, brush pens. Um, I use my luminance pencils as well as my Derwent's. And I'd probably introduce the Caran d'Ache um, Neo Colours, maybe. And I've got some ink tents, ink block, um, like pastel blocks downstairs somewhere, which I have got little tin things. Um, I could always put them in that and put it in, um, in a to go bag or something for the car. But yeah, this is meant to be me. And this is my daughter and I love this I love how this has turned out and what I might do is um I've got the door open so I've got to be quiet because she's only downstairs is for her new room I might do this again but bigger slightly bigger because I, I think it's nice this size maybe even sticking to this size and just finesse it a little bit I think that's a really cute idea so yeah, I've been doing, I've been playing about with that and I also need to add my husband to um, the pages because I really think he should be in the sketchbook too. Um, I have been watching YouTube as always, excuse me, I'm a little bit sore because when she um, cleaned it and everything, it's a bit, a bit stingy. 
so it's a little bit sore now plus we went out shopping as well although it was kind of fun um and it was nice to get out of the house and go somewhere completely different not the local shopping center um i'm pretty sore and pretty tired tonight um i have been watching uh, emma woodthorpe who also has been uh, melting in the heat crixis monkey moon Tark, as i've mentioned and arty who mainly because i mean i love watching videos anyway and i like to re-watch videos that i really like over and over again um mainly because i wanted to get the um i wanted to have a look at the um her bag and I'm, I'm gonna have a really good look for something to put my pencils and stuff in because i really need to learn to not take out a huge amount Mm, and that's the difficult thing is what do I take out? I mean, I need some more luminance pencils and some probably acrylic markers um, because with being in summer, although it'll soon be autumn. So is it worth it? But I can add them to my autumn palette. Mm. So, yes, um, I've also been watching Drewscape as well. He's really good if you like to do quick sketches and... Um, excuse me, illustrations of people and because he's a he's an artist who does I think he does comic books and things like that and he's really good for giving um, beginners really good advice. I like watching Drewscape. Um, I've been watching him for a little while now and he's really lovely too. I've, I've commented a few times on his videos and he's he's commented back so he's is very very lovely. Um, he's a mine of information. Um, so yes, and then booktubers I've been watching and I hope I get Elizabeth's channel name right. I'm always scared to say it because I get it wrong. Um, Bookings and Books and Bibbidi Bobbidi Books, which I think is a fab name. Because also, exciting, exciting, exciting news. There's a book challenge which Elizabeth of, of Bookings and Books is collabing with, I think, three or four other um, booktubers and it's called Framed September which I'm so looking forward to this um, I was, was really excited to join in on Tudor Temper not that I did a really good job on that I started a book and never finished <laughs> I got busy and I got distracted and yeah um, I think last last year was pretty bad because obviously health wise that's probably why I didn't do so well with it because of fatigue was horrendous and now I know why and that's been dealt with so hopefully um, I should be able to um, join in on more challenges but this one I'm definitely joining in on and basically all you have to do is for the month of September is either read a book or books to do with art whatever art you like whether it's textile sculpture architecture photography dance music painting drawing um collage any type of art anything that comes under the words under the name of art read a book or books on the subject and then number two prompt number two is go to a gallery or somewhere where there is art on display and look at it 10 minutes have a look at it did you like it did you not why not if you liked it what did you like about it and then number three three is my is is what's got me really excited now if you are creative minded and you have the skills of creativity you are to create a piece of artwork if you are not in any way shape or form if you can't draw a straight line and you your your portrait of someone looks like a stick figure because that's all you're able to manage because you don't have any art skills or you've not got great art skills or anything like that you can look at a piece of art pick a piece of specific art and then say what you liked about it now i will link elizabeth's youtube under channel under this video because she explains it probably a lot better than than i'm doing i probably sound like an idiot explaining it so um yeah she explains it so much better so yes so three prompts for frame to september which i am excited to join in on this year because I think I may actually have energy to join in on a challenge and if Lil's Vintage World is still doing um, Tudor Timbre um, I will join in on that too hopefully uh, because that I can choose an audible book for <laughs> um, yeah 
these things happen. Um, but yes, uh, I don't want to do too many challenges all at once, obviously, because I've also still got my Summerween to Halloween challenge that I'm reading and my Year of Agatha Christie. Um, of which my Summerween to Halloween has stalled ever so very slightly. Uh, every time I say I, I'm going to go off this evening and read some more of the Frighteners, it doesn't happen. So um, I may have not get a chance to do it tonight. I don't know. I'm pretty tired after today. Um, so yes, and I've been watching Over the Garden Wall. I finally got around to watching it again. It's my second viewing. I absolutely love that series. It's based on manga originally and I was looking for the manga and unfortunately Amazon being Amazon wanted kind of like stupid prices for it and then I, everywhere else it's about £25-ish between £25 and £30 for the book um, I'm guessing it's an import of some kind, I don't know um, if I really want it I might put it on my Christmas list and see what happens um, and I've also been, also been watching um, different YouTube channels on folk horror what is folk horror, folk horror films, what makes them folk horror. If you're into that genre of films, I will link the YouTubers I've been watching underneath this video, so don't worry. I love folk horror. I'm so very 1970s. Um, I love everything 1970s, the film, the music, programmes. Um, I even, when I went to Liverpool, I remember going past the street going, that's where they filmed the Liver Birds which is one of my favourite TV shows from the 70s, um, even though I watched it in the late 90s to 2000s. Um, I absolutely love The Life of Birds. It's one of my favourite programmes from that era anyway. Um, so yes, and Butterflies and yeah. It was the first thing Nicholas Lindhurst was in, actually. He played very dopey uh, youngest son of, of Rhea, who made, she kind of thought she was having an affair. Kind of wasn't really an affair, nothing really happened, but she always felt guilty for it. Um, Jeffrey Palmer was in it as well, a big fan of 1970s TV uh, and films. I have watched some really good films um, from the 70s. If you want me to do a video on my favourite era of TV and films, let me know and I will put my thinking cap on. Um, what have I got planned? for the summer holidays. No plans exactly. I have ideas to visit because I don't plan. If I plan, these things go terribly wrong and we don't go anywhere. So I've got ideas to revisit um, places like Tatton Park, um, Dunham Massey, Lime Hall, mainly to do the gardens for Tatton and Lime Hall. Because when we went last time, we didn't get a chance to do them because when we went to Tatton Park, it was absolutely chucking it down. It was horrendous weather. And we didn't care because we were going to be mainly in the house. Um, but it did. It absolutely chucked it down. It was sopping wet all day. We got absolutely soaked going from the car to the house. Um, so yes, I want to do the gardens. That way I get to draw some of the gardens as well. And I behave and put people in my artwork um in my own style um and also i want to go back to formby beach to see i don't know the name of the the people in whatever materials on the beach are called something everywhere or something i want to go back i want to go onto the beach because we we did go to formby beach after we'd been to liverpool for the day uh and I felt pretty lousy um, when we went. And so by the time we got to Formby Beach, um, the tide was in. So we have to pick a time when the tide is out, obviously. Otherwise, you don't get to see them. Saw the heads of them, but that was literally about it. So can you hang on for like one minute? I just had to go run the cold water because I'm running my daughter's bath as per usual. Um, so yes, that's what I would like to do. I want to go back to Fumby Beach um, and also there are places I would like to visit. There's a couple of mills that um, someone in a sewing group I'm a member of 
uh, she recently paid a visit and said I would absolutely love them and I think my little one will too. Um, want to go to the Manchester Museum because I have not been since they did it up. I do know they are not open on a Monday. The reason I know this is because um, we drove all the way to Manchester. Tried to find somewhere to park because it's really difficult. You can't drive up Oxford Road anymore. So annoying. But, you know, if, if you if you have to go up a specific road to get into somewhere because it's easier as a disabled person and then they cut off that entire route, it's kind of a bit of a pain in the bottom. However, um, I knew there was parking around there somewhere and I know you used to be able to park at the university. I don't think you can anymore. You might be able to, I don't know. Um, but it says on the website about a car park nearby and I didn't look at the opening hours properly. We got all the way to Manchester and um, we found the park somewhere to park and then we were like, oh, it's shut. I was like, um, I'm really sorry about this, but we've made it all the way here and it's closed. I think we ended up going to Altrincham instead, but it's not open on Mondays and I should have remembered that. It's never been open on a Monday, I don't think. So it's open Tuesday to Sunday as far as I know. I think maybe we should look at the open times again because it might be different for some holidays. I don't know. But anyway, I want to go to Manchester Museum because I want to go and see the new museum layout since they did it up. And there's probably a few other places to go visit and just get in the car and just point it in a direction and just follow to the countryside. That would be kind of kind of cool just to do that. But for this week and especially this week, we weren't able to go anywhere. And next week... There's maybe like one, maybe two days where we can go somewhere, um, even local, I'd even settle for Heaton Park. I'd even settle for our local, actually our local park's pretty good. Um, but I just want to go out somewhere and um, yeah, just have a day out somewhere, somewhere nice. Have a sketch, have a picnic, um, eat cake whilst drinking tea outdoors somewhere. Um, talking of cake, I've got cake to eat. Do you want to see my cake? Is it mean showing you my cake? I have a frangipan. That's what it's called. It's really nice. I'm going to go off and eat this now. Because I don't really think there's anything else to, to mention. Also, I did forget to mention, being me, that I've been watching Lil's Vintage World, her on haul, which was kind of in... Which I actually know it was quite interesting. And also... She's a bad influence because she did. Um, she got sent a book by the British Library and she may have linked the British Library. <laughs> and she mentioned three books that she'd bought. Now, I do love British Library books. I've got maybe two in my collection. Definitely one, The Wheel That Spins. And the, the covers are absolutely gorgeous. And she mentioned three books. One that she'd been sent, and I think two she probably already had. Um, so I may have gone on their website, and I may have accidentally ordered the three she mentioned in her video. Well, she said they go well together, and they are very pretty together, and you should keep these things together. I'm not helping myself, am I? It's not really an excuse. But yeah, um... Because I, um, my husband gave me some money um, to treat myself, I bought the three books. <laughs> it was meant to, it was meant to go on 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 um, art materials, but I've still got some left over to go on art materials, just not as many. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you to Lil's Vintage World for the recommendations. I'm looking forward to at least one getting one of them for definite. And also I've been watching Molly Lemon as well. She's finished all of her residencies, her artist residencies and her trips to Cornwall and Wales and things like that. And she said specifically she wants to knuckle down and get doing work now. She has either had or has an upcoming shop update and sale of some of her artworks that she's doing. I don't know if she's already had it or not. I might be late to this one. But um, yes, she's going to be doing that. So I've been watching those two as well. And I totally forgot to mention them because I'm me. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now. 
and I'm going to go and eat my cake. I'm very sorry if I've made you jealous about my cake. You might not even like French pan. I love French pan. So I've got my cup of tea because um, it's literally made just before I came upstairs. And um, I'm going to go and probably put bardcore on. I've introduced my daughter to bardcore. She loves it. It's awesome. If you've ever heard bardcore, I will have to link some bardcore um, um, songs under this video. Because I also watch, I think, I'm almost certain. I'm just going to double check because I don't want to get her name wrong. But there is a textiles expert that I like to watch. And her name is, I'm thinking, it's Dr. Alexandra Macon. Um, and she's recreating the baby tapestry. And she's embroidering it. Um, and she's fab to watch. I love watching her embroider. Um, yeah, so I will put her website underneath uh, her YouTube as well because I follow her on YouTube but yes her name is Dr Alexandra Maker um she even has a book out which I would absolutely love to have the book I will have to save up some pennies for that one though um one day I hope to buy it but I do love things like the medieval period and textiles from that time and yes I am a mega history nerd I love the medieval period um anything to do with the medieval era plague that sort of thing textiles art there's a great shop called hum from the hill on etsy who sell um medieval inspired um cups and stickers and t-shirts and they've got um one quite rude um item which i think is quite funny because it's, it's art from from the medieval period but we've also got bunny murders which i want the mug off and one day i'm going to get the the mug and I'm going to I'm going to sit to drink my tea from that mug, and I will link that shop under this under this video. Anyway, I'm gonna bob off now. I'm going to go and finish um, a few things, mainly my daughter's bath and eating my cake, and thinking about places that I can go and visit that I can manage to get there and have a wonder about a small wonder. If I go to anywhere like um, Townley Hall. Or the Yorkshire Sculpture Park, or to be honest, even Dunham and Lyme, and the other one I mentioned, Tatton, Dunham and Lyme. Yeah, I'm going to have to hire a scooter because I cannot physically walk around there. Um, so that's that'll be fun. Try not to run people over whilst I'm sketching on a scooter. <laughs> It'll be fun. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go now enjoy the rest of your evening i'll try and get this video uploaded over the weekend um it depends how i feel today's friday it depends how i feel this evening i'm pretty pretty tired it may be saturday or sunday so you, when you see this um when i have finished editing and uploading and stuff um so yes so on that kind of thing i will say goodbye and good night because it's like an autumn night it's really dark outside it's meant to be summer it's cooler it's been raining. I'm happy. Don't do sunshine. And I've just bought a summer hat as well. Oh, so typical. Buy a summer hat and then it throws it down. Anyway, I will shut up now and I'm going to get going. So I will say, um, if you want to find me anywhere, you can find me on YouTube, obviously, on Instagram and on Goodreads. And on that, good reading to you. Enjoy whatever you're reading. Um, happy... Um, being creative, being artistic, whatever it is you happen to do artistically. Uh, if you're still here, thank you for bearing with me and putting up with my very weird video this, this time. Um, I have to stop being so perfect. I really do. If you're still here and you've enjoyed it, uh, if you want to leave a comment, how about even if it's just an emoji, like um, a book or something art related or even something autumnal related, I'm going to go now and um, finish my cup of tea. So have a great weekend and I will see you again next week, hopefully. See how it pans out because obviously 
summer holidays, possible days out, but also clinic visits. So we'll see. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen yet. There's no point in planning until this is better. So yeah, I will see you all very, very soon. Have a great weekend. Bye everyone. <laughs>